we're gonna have now her father just sits all alone at the bar this is a good soundtrack for playing the game orders his drinks and smokes cigarettes he knows he can afford this game is trippy he's got no regrets says he's doing quite well oh man which way do we go Uh oh. So, we got this thing going on here. Just gonna wait a little bit. Just gonna stare into the static infinity here. Oh man, that hurts. Look at the pixels on that. This game just came out today. So I'm gonna walk as far as I can into that mess and see what I can find. Oh, I see it. It does go on. Very sweet. Are we getting to the end of the hallway? Wow. That was a long hallway. Wait, it keeps going. Oh, it's like stretching out. <laughs> All right, I get it. Oh, it's so far. And so this is the end of the hallway, right? Wait, what? Uh, is it over? It's over here. Just down here. And then if we, uh, if we, it's, it's if we turn down here, we'll get to the end of the hallway. And it'll, we'll find the end. Okay, uh, we're gonna stop. We're gonna stop it here. I decided. I decided that was it. It's a weird one. Is a perfect place. Um, this kind of hurts to look at, but it looks sweet. Um, oh, monkey doth tell me, be ready, hold. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want to go that way. Oh, it's leaking in. Woo, we got a party of, a rating party of 12 from that class. Woo, woo. Thank you so much, that class.
great stream. Love the Robert. A classy raid. Bump it down. Classy raid. Welcome, classy raiders. The clown assery raid. Once the internet came back, I mean, just Wednesday things, right? Got some sweet uke songs. This is a visual eye, yeah. Uh, a magic optical illusion. Um, it is a labyrinth. It is an infinite labyrinth. And, uh, you know, we're not gonna find the end today. But we'll see what, how far we can get. We'll try and make some progress. I'll show you how this game works. Nat class, thank you so much. Big, uh, big shout out to Nat class. You, you, you think we'll find the end? Let's go. So this is a procedurally generated maze. It, uh, you walk through it and it keeps going. But it changes on you as you walk through it. Um, and I'm completely lost by now. There's no way I'm getting home. Actually, it's really easy. It's like the Lost Woods in Zelda. If you take a wrong turn, you'll end up right at the beginning again. Um, so there's a lot of rooms. And it keeps changing, and I'll show you what, kind of what it looks like. Um, and I think the best way to do that is to go back to the beginning. I'm in a mess of nonsense here. So let's just think if we turn. See, this way, we don't want to go that way. That's not good. Let's say. Um, if we go down this hallway, and we go around this corner, I know we'll be back home. Yeah, see, this is it. This is home. If you see this pattern, you're safe. And by safe, I mean... You've gotten nowhere, and you're back in the beginning. Oh, already I'm lost. Okay. Um, you got really got to watch where you're going. I don't know where I am anymore. Uh, if As soon as you stop and, and you second-guess yourself, and you think that maybe you took a wrong turn, oh, man, you're really lost now. You're... Don't even ask me about it. Where is this? I don't know. Look how far back this hallway goes. Do you think we can reach the end of this hallway? I took a wrong turn for sure. Look at this. I mean, I don't think anyone's been here before at least. But who built it? And you see, right around this corner, we're, we'll go back to the beginning again. And we're back at the beginning. But it's just as easy as turning around and then you're in a completely different place. Hey, Bees Wheezy, welcome to this insanatorium. Um, yeah, and then it, that's not even the way to go. The way to go is over here. Is an optical illusion all along. It's like a house of mirrors. And then, which way is the right way from here? It's actually this way. Yeah, that was not it. Um, and what you can do is you can kind of walk up to this wall and just think about things and then be like, but what if there was a hallway down that way? What would that look like? What would it look like if there's a hallway? And then you stop and you think about things and you're like, that doesn't make any sense. Let's just keep going forward and see if we can find anything. Okay, there's another hallway. We can kind of take that. Well, we know exactly where we are now. We're in the, <laughs> the, the green, light green hallway. Oh, yeah. Um, it's down this way. Is there a right answer? Because I don't think this is it. Oh, see, back at the beginning, it's right over there. Hold. Um, uh, what if we went this way? 
uh, nope, don't want it. What are we looking for? Well, I mean, what are we looking for, really? Is there anything to look for? <laughs> what if we went backwards? Oh yeah, it was just a different hallway all along. Don't worry about it. So that's, fu that's all fun and games, right? I mean, hell, you could look up and then it just changes your perspective, right? Don't, don't do me like that. It just changes your perspective and you can go backwards while looking up and then go down the hallway that is sideways. I don't know where this is. All right, stop. There's a mutators. This is, this is some uh, computer science trickery magic. It's all procedurally generated and it, it, it'll just create a fractal reflection of the area around you. And then it will say, oh, it was an optical illusion and it's actually a hallway. There's doors, and if you take one of the hallway doors, it takes you back to the beginning. Otherwise, it keeps strewing reality and creating different hallways down it. Yeah. So, I'm just, this is going to be just a fun, relaxing stream. We cannot go anywhere important. We can't pick up any items. This is crazy. And the best part is this mutators line. All right, we can get to this custom image later. And you can dive into your favorite meme image into madness. But mutators. This one, look, look at this one here. Oil. It, it makes everything into an oil painting as you walk backwards. So like the lines blur into oil smears. So it's super artistic. There's nothing to do here except just trip out and try and create... The goal of this game is to try to find unique rooms. So we're going to try and do that. We're going to figure out what the hell these things are, because I don't know. Uh, Tim from Tool Time as only Doom Textures. So you could load in an image that's like Doom Walls, probably. Oh, yeah. I want to... This is so cool and innovative. I love this idea, and it I think it has so many applications. Yeah, the use of the functionality like this to like procedurally create things. You could you can totally do like you'd have to do one like Doom Wall. You couldn't do like the whole texture of a level, um, but you could you could do something like that. Yeah, let's try. Let's we'll see what these mutators do. CYC, which I believe is cyclical, circle, maybe? So we turn the mutator on and we enter the catacombs. So now we're in this, oh yeah. That's the good shit, right up close. It cycles through the hues. And then if we back up and go forward, we can find little hallways to go into the colors. And we can try and find really cool colors. Or we can be like, oh yeah, what if we just, oh no, just kidding, they shift as you go. So we can't even stick to one color. We're really lost now. What hallway are we down? I don't know. Again, this is pretty trippy and cool, very sweet. It does the thing. All right, let's just go through these one by one. Your wallpapers were never this cool. This would be a great screensaver, Windows 98 screensaver, where it just like keeps navigating down infinite hallways as they like fractal into each other. Yeah. The math behind this is ridiculous. Did I ever play Hover? I don't think I did. I'm gonna try L-I-N.
Okay. Can we notice anything? No phone calls. Writhing Virtue. Awesome. This is LSD Dream Emulator. This is definitely super vibes like that. Like this colors, the hallways and stuff. But this is just a trippy infinite mess. Okay. What are we going to find? Happy to see you, Writhing Virtue. Just go in the lurk mode. Oh, what? Why is it smearing? Oh, this is trippy for sure. Whoa. Oh, it's full of stars. Okay, I'm fine. Oh, I want to go that way. Yeah, this way. The stars are frothing. Oh, yeah. No, take me that way. Take me that way. Where? You see, you just kind of have to jimmy reality a little bit and just send it in the direction that you want to go. This is where they make uh, Starburst. This is the Starburst factory. You just kind of have to take reality and like hold it and then twist it a little bit and bop it. You just, you just bop reality and like, where am I? What is happening? These things are really cool if you go backwards sometimes. Yeah, just pull it, pull it that way. Oh no, there's reality. Don't want to go back there. Okay. Well, this is fun. I'm going to try a different one. Zero, one, zero. Maybe binary? Is it black and white? What is happening? What is the modifier that's going on? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. It looks like we're on an alien spaceship or something. Where are we? Makeup boxes? Let's add some more color to it. The color just immediately is eaten up. It's like a little television. Goodbye, color. Oh, yeah. Well, it's pulling apart. Hmm, what is going on? This is like, it's like we're inside of a Pokemon game, like original, like red blue version. This is what it would feel like if we were walking down the hallways, a Silphco trying to defeat Team Rocket. And now, uh, I don't know where we are. Where is this? This is like a retro game. I like this like shadow being cast on the wall over here from some unknown sun. Look at where we came from. Let's go back. And the problem is if you just turn around and go back where you came from, it's not the same place. You can never go back to the same place. Is this actually the same place though? I don't know. It's like, it's the opposite, right? What about down here? Oh man. Well, it takes care of that. Next mutator. Out. I don't know what it does. What does out do? What does out do? All right, back up. Back up does it. Okay. It's kind of, it's kind of interesting. Where, where is it going with this? Wow, we are out there. 
It's a little like cheddar cheese. Yeah. This one is pretty foggy. I have no idea. It's really hard to figure out where you're going. Maybe this is better when you mix them. C-O-R. Oh, yeah. It's blurring a bit. Should I make this like full of screen? Would that be better? What if I did this? What if I did this? Is this better? Let's try that. Uh, the walls are moving. This is trippy right here. This is a painting. Where are we going? Look at this, the walls are racing us to the destination. This is a cool effect. I really like the hallways that just like, it feels like they go forever and you finally get to the end and then you're like, well, what if it was a hallway and we could keep going? It's a great color. Look at that like the yellows and the fuchsias and it's got like that deep mustard color oh that is a hallway that we would never find the end of my friends okay wow that's bright uh turn that off rgb i find the best way to t really switch these filters on is to go backwards that's not really doing it. Oh, there we go. Now I'm seeing it. Oh yeah, the RGBs are split, spreading. That is a sweet effect. What? That is trippy. Oh, you're feeling motion sick? I'm sorry, digitally present. I can understand that. This is, I'm feeling a little bit of it too myself. It's not gonna be a long stream. But uh, yeah, take a break if you need to, by all means. Um, this is a weird one. All right. Let's check, let's check the next one out. You, For warning to anyone else who's watching, this game may make you motion sick. Uh, because it is not natural. And this one especially may make you motion sick as the walls swirl around you. Try and make some sense of the way that you're going now. Jerk? Is this even a hallway? No, of course it's not. The walls are sliding around you. That is cool though. That is cool stuff. Oh jeez. What's going on? I'm gonna stop it. Okay. We gotta keep going. NSE. See, I don't know what these mean. What does that mean? Do we get anything from the forward direction? Is this forward wall doing anything? What's happening? What if we go backwards? Oh, I know this one. Do you see that blue circle? It's a swirl, it means swirl. It's the chaos swirl. Whenever this one is active, if you, if you take too much time, this little dot of chaos swirl just appears in the distance and starts getting bigger and bigger ominously. You can never escape it. It's pretty sweet. Like we can walk down this way and be like, oh, we're fine. We're fine going down this way. No, it's there. 
it's there coming out of the walls trying to find us it takes everything over and sends us to the swirl dimension Oh, that's NSE is, is swirl, I guess. So swirl makes it swirl. Yeah. NSE is noise. I'm making stuff up. Oil is oil, which is pretty cool. Yeah, if you are worried about um, reality at all, this one may not be good for your psyche. Okay, two more. The gauntlet, STP. Whoa, we got a little shaky there. What does STP do? Uh, Stripe? What is happening? Oh, yeah. That's grinding together pretty nicely. Look at this. And then the last one. Asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. Which, let's see if we can trigger by going backwards. No. Oh. What does this one do? I think this one lets you like float in different dimensions. It's like a three dimensional floaty thing maybe? Or does it go diagonally? Anyways. It does something, right? It's got to do something. It's an option. Now, one last thing. No mutators. Let's use a custom image. Custom image time. Uh, what's a cool one? I just have a bunch of crazy art. Let's do this one. So this is what happens when you load an image in, is you get transported. This is pretty traditional, right? You understand how that works, right? It just loads the image in, it puts it on the walls, it's easy to understand. But then, you know, what if it was not as easy to understand? And you can kind of see it off in the distance, like maybe? Maybe I could go back to that place. And it's always sort of there. You can never get to it. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Let's try that out. But let's slam a few of these things on there. Not that one. That one. Okay. Um, well, that happened. <laughs> Goodbye, image. Just kidding, you're right over here. Wait, no you're not. That is beautiful. Here it is. Ah, familiarity. Okay, 
let's use a different image and a couple different boom like what is happening no way is safe as soon as you second guess yourself and you'd be like wait was I supposed to go down this tunnel or was I so oh wait what 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 if I oh yeah you're lost you're lost but if you can Kind of find your way around a little bit. Right back home. <laughs> and then you can even like go right through the walls. If you have the I think this last one is basically God mode. Let's turn God mode off. Yeah. Let's turn God mode off. Um, do you have any suggestions of things you want to see? Any modifiers? I'm, it's, it's not going to be a long stream. I'm probably going to end in uh, maybe 10, 20 minutes. Uh, I just really wanted to stream this because I think it's awesome. Um, you know, I could try doing like the whole shebang, load a new image. What if, yeah, I don't know either, right? It's like, we got like some Buddha and mushrooms and he's sitting on a thing and, uh, It's pretty trippy, right? <laughs> you see, when you have everything turned on, it's just like, what is even happening? What is even happening? Right? Does it does it does it really matter that at this point I've loaded an image in? It is very sweet. See, then the mutators are like, uh, maybe you don't want that many. Let's try this. And there's a run button too. You can kind of like look in the right direction and kind of tilt your head the right way and find some hallway that doesn't exist. Like if you just can get up right next to it and you like turn your head and you start walking, you'd be like, yeah, there's, there's probably a hallway down there. You can get some really crazy like hues and colors though. With the mutators set decently low and like a little fine tuning. You just kind of like isolate some things. I 
like some colors and some shapes and then you just try and like Pretend like your entire universe was that. Learning a digital instrument. Definitely. Yeah, it is. I really want to kind of find where this is leading. Well, that's back to the beginning. really kind of like blend the colors and dissect them yeah it's like a it's definitely kind of like a virtual instrument you know you can kind of like oh, shift it a little bit and kind of like side eye it and kind of stretch the image out and do a little bit of that and a little bit of this and kind of wrap it around and bop it a little bit and give it a little what the fuck am i doing okay we're trying to find a new shade of color. And it's a mixture between brown and green. And it's got a little blue in there. It's, you know, it's a little yellow. And we kind of pull it apart and stretch it like, you know, like if you're making taffy or something or biscuits I want to make a nice croissant out of these colors you kind of stretch them out and fold them up and you go in there and you try and find this is our like butter strip this brown kind of like butter strip that we've added in here don't want it to get too buttery though. Let's find out where that, we got a little butter. Now the butter's on the outside and the inside. Oh, and there's our biscuit. There's the biscuit. All right, let's see if we can find out where that biscuit's hiding. We really gotta kind of back up, find the biscuit, find the biscuit, okay. Okay, biscuit layers, I don't wanna see that thing. All right, where's the biscuit? Go find the biscuit. Oh, there it is. Where's that biscuit? All right. If I just kind of tilt my head up, tilt it back, and then I'm like, look at it. Kind of walk around, I, I wanna go that way. I want to go that way. Stop getting my way, walls. Yeah, this way. Where's that biscuit? Got to line things up. Kind of walk around it. Stretch that biscuit out. What am I doing with my life? All right. So we found the color. And it's down here. This is our, our mise en place, if you will. And if we smash our face into this wall a few times, we'll figure out where the corner is. And we don't want to go back. No, we definitely don't want that. And we don't want that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay. Don't want that in there. And uh, we did it. And we did it. This is it. This is our new color. I call it Moldy Biscuit. I'll take my check now, Guinness Book of World Records. Yeah, I just... It's down here, I know it is. So I've been either walking into a wall for five minutes or I've discovered a new color. Absolutely no idea where I am. No idea. Don't know. 
Is there a wall somewhere? Can I make it out of this nightmare maze that I've made for myself? That's what I want to know. You think I can escape? Or is this, is this color what I'm doomed to see the rest of my life? I made my biscuit and I'll die in it. Seriously though, where, where do I go? How do I get out of this mess? I feel like if I, oh, I found it. What do you think, team? What do you think? <laughs> do I take, do I take this path back to reality? And do I let the moldy biscuit slip? There's an infinite number of them. We were there all along. Look at this like stained glass world of TVs. All these different little people live in their world inside of a moldy biscuit. All right, next custom image, yes. Um. Okay, does anyone have any uh, of these mutators they want me to slap on here? Any favorites? I know they're mostly meaningless and confusing, but I only want maybe one or two. Forge, help, help me forge the path forward through the catacombs. I wish there was like a little dice roller that I could do. We got, oh, I was just doing Lynn. Uh, Reroll please. We got we got Lynn out of the moldy we got with a moldy biscuit out of Lynn. I can do Lynn and something else. That one's pretty mild. I'm fine keeping it turned on. It's a very subtle. It adds like a fuzziness around the edges. Lynn core? Oh yeah. All right, well, um, I'm gonna pick a different image. I'm gonna pick a different one. Let's go to this one. Ooh, this one. Oh yeah? Let's do that. Custom image, yes. Desktop. Where do I store my things? There it is. All right. <sighs> Steal yourselves for going into the world of the clump. This is clump world. Whoa! 
it definitely feels fuzzy. Like there's little hallways inside of it, but very intriguing. Oh, oh, getting lost. Let's go back to the club. Oh, here we go. Safe in the hallways of the clump. See, if you just keep, if you don't second guess yourself, you can't stop moving. As soon as you stop moving, as soon as you stop moving, you're gonna get lost. Can't, you can't turn around, you can't second guess yourself. You just gotta keep going. You know, you got to trust that at the end of the clump bow, you're going to find your pot of clumps. And as soon as, as soon as you second guess yourself, you know, you'll just end up in some weird fuzzy little place. That sounded weird. Um, but these clumps, they keep going. So you see, this is what happens if you just keep, keep things sane and safe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, tripping out in a world of clumps. I can really feel myself running in this like, oh man, you turn around and you look back at where you just came from and you step forward and it like, is a wall and then it just starts getting fuzzy and you're like, I am lost, my dudes. Uh. Okay, so I think it's safe. You can turn around, you just can't stop moving. You can't stop moving. Once you stop moving, then the clumps will get you. You can't stop, you can't stop going. The clumps will make everything all fuzzy and clumpy. Well, I'm not going to say that it's a moldy biscuit, but all right, back on Clump Island. I like doing this. I'm going to go over RGB and 10. Everything looks pretty safe, but I've stopped. Oh yeah, perfect time to stretch it out. Oh, get ready to stretch out those clumps. Oh yeah. Thank you for the stretch. Now I shall go backwards. You don't say. So if we go forwards, it turns into black and white. And if we go backwards, the colors start seeping out of everything.
It's crazy that this kind of world would live inside of the clumps. I never knew. This could be cooler with music, huh? Oh well. Next clump exercise. Let's do swirl. Let's do cycle cyclical swirl. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is definitely the type of thing that I'd expect out of the clumps. The hydrate. Mmm, look at this old cup. Mmm. Four year old lemonade. This is this is pretty sweet. Crazy, absolutely crazy. Wow. Sometimes you, don't, you didn't know that colors could even do that, right? But what if we wiggled our way down this hallway This is very fractally. See, you could just do this forever. It feels like I'm, it feels like I'm falling into the sky is what it feels like. Oh, I've hit a wall. Let me adjust myself. I want to try and see if I can go that way. Yeah. But I don't want to lose sight of... Ooh. This feels like a lava lamp. Trippy and back to the clumps. So that is um, that is the catacombs of Solaris. Uh, I think I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to wind down the stream here. Didn't want to do a long one for this, but I really wanted to stream this. This is just like one guy that made this game. Uh, Ian McClarty. Uh, and this is actually a, uh, I'm pretty sure it's just one guy. And there, he, he might have more people doing it. But um, 
he just re-released this game. Uh today. Today. This game is out. It's out on Steam. And if you're okay with reality hurting your brain, um, it may be a game for you to check out. Because, oh boy, the pixels. Oh boy, the pixels. Whew. This is my stream logo, by the way, that I've just really entered into some weird space. Like, look at this. What is happening? <laughs> look at those pixels. How sharp and contourous. Yeah. You just, you, you open an image. You put a mutator or two on and you just like zoom in. Look at this. What am I experiencing right now? Look how crazy cool that is. And then you can kind of like Yeah, this is like a strange hyperspeed train. But it's art. I feel like yeah, you're going hyperspeed. The reality is like shooting past you so fast and you're just like thunk and you, then you say but what if we go deeper yeah and you can kind of this is a nice one that kind of blends things and you do sort of always end up with this weird grayish brown color, you know, but uh, it depends. This is like, I don't even know. It feels very alien that the walls will like shift into themselves when you turn and then go forward it like resets the the algorithm that is like where your hallways are and then it starts doing the the slantiness What, 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 what is, what, what, what is this? What is happening? What is happening? Where am I? What, the walls are shifting, you know? And then the best part is if you stop and turn to look in just the right way, it just goes infinitely. And then if you stop to learn to look the right way, it goes infinitely. And then if you stop to turn, 
it goes infinitely. And now we're just at a bit of a crossroads here, huh? This is what it feels like to be in a forest in uh, like the fog or something like that. Like a bamboo forest, but like, oh, you're not on the ground. <laughs> what is happening? Right? And then you just watch as reality is like sliced in half and then slides <laughs> in some other dimension. This feels like uh The high school auditorium. Ooh. Do a little dissecting, make some zigzags, kind of go that way, kind of go that way, kind of go that way. Oh, 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 oh. Instant static. It gives this feeling like everything is moving in some way that you like you can understand, but you can also it's way beyond you to understand. Like it looks like the ceiling and the wall are coming together but it's just an optical illusion. They're not, right? Right? Because then if you stop, turn around and go that way, it's all just the same. What if we kind of went down this way? This is very, uh, I get a very like Native American vibe sort of. The color and the like angular lines and stuff like that. Wowie, where am I? This is just the sort of game that I needed to stream today to where like, I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to do anything. I have no expectations at all. And I can just kind of like, look at this, where is this? This is like some alien uh, chapel or cathedral. Okay. And scene. Okay. I think it's about time for me to, um, you know, I'm at least going to, you get, you get really good at not going back to the beginning, but it's really easy to do sometimes once you figure out what you're doing. Maybe what if
You see, I want to stop, but I don't want to stop. It's just so like, it's my, it's like brain butter. <laughs> it just melts over my brain and then like sizzles and crisps a little bit. It's like brain caramelization. Your brain's like, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Do that. Keep, keep doing that. Whatever it is that you're doing, I, I approve of. Keep, keep at it. I actually want some more of this. It is like, like making a palette. You have to kind of like figure out how to look and to like, I want to go that way. I want to go that way. Ooh, child granny making some sweet, sweet banana bread. Frying slices and butter. Ooh. Oh, I love this. Oh, I just want to play this game for like two hours. It's it's really addicting. It just feels it's, my brain appreciates it. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd get motion sick too, but when you're in control you're kind of better able, I guess, to... Like, process what you have to control, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna fry my brain up in some butter. Look at this. This is just so trippy. Oh. No, I don't go backwards too often. Like just straight backwards, but it's kind of interesting. Oh, look at that. Oh, aesthetics. I would just get lost forever. Nicholas said, did we, did we see this? It's not doing it. I'm going to not do that one. All right. Oh yeah, I think I've seen something like that. Oh my word. The aesthetics on this are cranked up to a billion. Look at these colors. This 
this is like a Jamie XX cover. <laughs> There's like some totem pole over there. Oh, okay. You have to turn it on maybe? Interesting. I will have to look into that. Let me see about this. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, yeah. Here we go. In color. Is this a... Uh... I probably can't play this, can I? I'm sure he would appreciate or they, whoever. Um, there's a little bit of a snippet. Jamie XX in color. Go listen to that music. That's a free, that is a free publicity move by yours truly. This is pretty trippy, huh? Now it feels kind of feels like we're playing a game. Like this is actually planned. Right? But it's not. It was never planned. Pa 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 cola yeah. All right, all right. I think I really have to end my stream. This is the 18th time. That I said I was gonna stop my stream. Sounds like the reply feature is not rolled out to everyone. Maybe. I don't know. Oh man, I just don't want to stop playing this game. This, this is giving me like real big, well, not anymore. I was gonna say Legend of Zelda, like Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask maybe, but uh, probably Majora's Mask. This is, this is like Majora's Mask vibes. Not that, not that. Whoa, what's happening? 
oh, it's just your casual pixelated nightmare dimension. You know. All right. So...